All right, just want to take a couple moments to review with you for tomorrow's quiz on Friday regarding some questions that might be some hiccups and give you an opportunity to see some of the topics that might be covered tomorrow. So here we go. Question number one, who preached a message of separation and independence from whites by advising African Americans to move back to Africa? What I'm looking for is the name of this individual. So who did the following thing? This idea was covered in the Harlem Renaissance short video that you watched yesterday. Number two, Warren G. Harding won the presidency by appealing to Americans' desire to return to what word comes after that sentence? It was this campaign slogan, and it was this attempt to take Americans back to the good old days, but you need to know that one word. What was it? The flowering of African American arts in the 1920s became known as the what event am I discussing here? What event is the answer to this question? So the flowering of African American arts in the 1920s. It would not be U.S. history without questions like this. Name the character from the following GIF. Some of you are frantically writing this down because you know this. And some of you are angry because you don't remember it. But moving on. Who went to jail for allowing private interests to lease lands containing U.S. Navy oil reserves? This is the Teapot Dome scandal. But what particular member of the Harding administration goes to jail for the Teapot Dome scandal? Looking for a name here. Six. Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong are best known for their contributions to which kind of music? So Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, what music are they associated with? 7. What infamous organization profited from profited the most during prohibition? Prohibition. So infamous means famous for all the wrong reasons. But what infamous organization profited the most during Prohibition? Eight. Name the movie. Nine. After World War I. Most Americans wanted to avoid future wars by not joining what international organization? So what was the name of that international organization where leaders would go and discuss issues rather than fight it out on the battlefield? That's what we're looking for here. Ten. The belief that God created the world and everything in it Usually, in the way described in Genesis, is known as what? So this is a particular vocabulary word, because tomorrow's exam is, part of it is matching. And those matching prompts are going to be vocabulary terms. But what is this one specifically? 11. A person who believes that there should be no government believes in what? So a perp a person who believes in no form of government or the absence of government believes in what? 12. Name the TV show. 13. Name the movie from the following picture puzzle. Okay, so you're going to see multiple pictures here. But if you put them together, what movie are they depicting? So 
three different objects. If you put them all together, what movie are they depicting? Moving on. Number 14, same thing. Picture puzzle for naming the movie. Put all these objects together to come up with a very famous movie. Moving on. As far as answers go, if you do not have a couple of answers for previous questions, pause the video now, go back and look at the questions one more time. Make sure you get some sort of answer in so that there's an idea of what you know and what you don't know. But if you're ready to go and you got answers for all 14 questions, without further ado, here we go. Who preached a message of separation and independence from whites by advising African Americans to move back to Africa? That is Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey. Two, Warren G. Harding won the presidency by appealing to Americans' desire to return to normalcy. Return to normalcy. Three, the flowering of Afri African American arts in the 1920s became known as the Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance. Number four, name the character. Okay, no? All right. That is none other than Spencer Shea. Spencer Shea. Who went to jail for allowing private interests to lease lands containing U.S. Navy oil reserves in the Teapot Dome scandal? That was Albert B. Fall. Albert B. Fall. Six, Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong are best known for their contributions to which kind of music? That is jazz music. What infamous organization profited the most during Prohibition? That is none other than the Mafia or organized crime. They both mean the same thing, so if you had one rather than the other, no problem whatsoever. But the Mafia. Number eight, name the movie. Oh, this one's a good one. Agent Cody Banks. That is Agent Cody Banks. Moving on. Number nine. After World War I, most Americans wanted to avoid future wars by not joining what international organization? And that is the League of Nations. Even though the United States created it, we decided not to join it because we thought it would bring us into future wars. Number ten. The belief that God created the world and everything in it, usually in the way described in Genesis, is known as what? And this vocabulary term is creationism. Creationism. And that will be on tomorrow's exam as part of a matching vocabulary section. Speaking of matching vocabulary sections, a person who believes that there should be no government believes in, that is anarchism or anarchy. Anarchism or anarchy? Finishing strong. Here we go. Number 12. Name the TV show. That is Cory in the House. 13. Name the movie and the following picture puzzle. All right, so we got this plus this plus this equals Ratatouille. Ratatouille. 14. Name the movie from the following picture puzzle. That is Space Jam. Space Jam. All right, that will do it for this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, uh, make sure that you please go ahead and email me. I'll get back to you instantaneously, and we will see you. Well, I'll see you next week. Take care.